Telling me that, that Jesus Christ died for everybody. For the whole world, yes. Okay, so he died for everybody's sins. He died for everybody's sins. Okay, that's cool. So yeah. let me ask you a question. What is sin according to the Bible? What is sin according to the yeah, Bible? Yeah, like what's the what's the definition well, of sin? So so you know the Ten Commandments basically is a is a, a blueprint of, of God's laws, you know. It, it basically points to we can't keep the law. Because if you lie, even if you just lied one time, you consider it a liar. Okay. If you've committed adultery, you right. know, even in your heart, if you commit adultery, God God sees the heart. That's cool, but I just want to know like what's the what's the clear cut definition of sin? Like what is the, the biblical definition? Um, I mean it's a it's a transgression against God. I mean it's against his what? Against his what then? His nature. His, his, he's holy. God is holy. He's it's, righteous. It's a certain word I'm looking for, though. You said you're right. It's a transgression against God's what? Against his against his uh, nature. Against who he is. Okay. What is what is his, his nature? His law. He's, his law. He's he's bingo. Holy, there, there we go. Yeah. His that's, law. That's the word I was looking for. Yeah. For his law, right? Yeah. Now let me ask you a question, right? So, you just said out your own mouth that the definition of sin is the transgression of God's laws, right? Yes. Now the next thing is, who was God's law given to? Because you said well, he, that it was originally given to the Israel. Originally, yes. Okay, so yes. what scripture says that it was given to anybody else other than the Israel? Well, when you go to the New Testament, then the Gentiles, God said, because the Israelite was so Israel was so obstinate against God, rejected God, they rejected Christ. So God went out and he, he uh, went and brought the Gentiles in. Okay. You know? Because God loves everything. We're all created in God's image. Whether we're, whether we're uh, you know, a Gentile or an Israel or a Jew. Because, because if you become a Christian, if you turn from your sin and Christ comes and lives inside of you, then you're a Jew by heart. By, by heart. Okay. You know, because well, we, you're circumcised right. through faith in Christ. Well, we go go into the Bible and see if the Bible supports that. But uh, you got a piece of that? Yeah, uh, Amos three. Okay. And, and, well, you go into the Old Testament. Well, we go go into the New Testament. Yeah, New Testament. We we deal we deal with the old. See, see, we deal with the Old Testament, the New Testament, and the books that was taken out, which is known as the Apocrypha, right? That was taken out by the Protestants, right? So you got a precept. Uh, this is the book of Amos three and one. Uh -huh. It says, "Hear this word that Yahweh have spoken against you, O children of Israel, uh -huh. against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt." So the Lord said He brought up the nation of Israel oh, of out of the land of Egypt, Absolutely. right? Yeah. During the time of Moses, and right? Israel was obstinate and uh -huh. disobedient. All right, so and grumbled and mumbled in the 40, 40 years you of the wilderness. You're absolutely right. I agree yeah. with that. So, we just agree with that. <laughs> so, so God went and searched for other for other people. Okay, well, look, let's find out. Saying, "You only have I known of all the families of the earth." So, what does that mean when God said, "You only have I known well, out of I, all I, the I families?" Mean, I understand of the earth. that y'all, you know, um, I understand where y'all are coming from. No, I'm just I'm but, just asking you what that what is you what do you think that's I mean it's it, it's talking about Israel. It's okay. talking about his chosen people. Right. So right? you say you only have our known, yeah. right? Yeah. But Christ, when Christ came to the earth, his chosen people rejected him. Oh, well we go we go, <laughs> you know? so we go find because, because they try to find righteousness in the law instead of faith in God. Well, you go see if that's accurate, right? So you got more to do that? No, it says um 
Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquity. So he said, I'm going to punish you for all your iniquity. Because like you said, sin is a transgression of God's laws, right? And you admitted that those laws were only given to the nation of Israel, right? Well, so now, oh, all, oh, I mean, it's for all people. Okay, hold on. Okay, it's so. point that sin. Okay, okay. <laughs> now look, we're in the New Testament. Because you say you deal with the New Testament. We're in the New Testament. Does God say that? The law is now unto all people. Where, where, where does, what scripture says that? I mean, I'd have to find it now. Okay. I know it's in there. I just, now, hey, uh, look, I ain't gonna lie. I've been trying to find it ever since, you know, I've been reading the Bible. And for some reason, I can't seem to find it. So maybe you can help me out. I can't yeah. find it either. Yeah, that's that's kind of weird. <laughs> Con. All of us have been looking for it, but we can't sure. find it. Yeah, we, hey, hey, we might even give you like twenty dollars for the sun go down, man. If you can find that scripture, Con. yeah, man, you get a payment. Find that scripture for us. But we've been looking, we've been searching high and low. Romans 1, 5 through 7. You want to read that? Through Ephesians. him we receive grace and apostleship to call all the Gentiles to the obedience that comes from faith for his name's sake. Okay. And you also are among those Gentiles who are called to belong to Jesus Christ. All right. So what happened? What does what Ephesians say? We want to get to that Ephesians first. Um, well, so I have to go to in my Bible and the Word. You're talking about uh, Ephesians 3 and 1? 1 through 6. For, for this up. for this cause I Paul the prisoner of Jesus Christ for you Gentiles. Yeah, so Paul so Paul was called to, to preach to the Gentiles, to bring the Gentiles into faith. Beautiful, beautiful, but yeah. not look, this is the thing that a lot of people don't understand, right? Paul was a Pharisee before he was converted. Exactly. So when you go into that word Gentiles, what is the, the, the biblical de definition for Gentiles? Um, Non-Jew. 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 Non okay, I, Everybody I, I, outside on. of the Jews. That's cool. So I, I somewhat agree with that because in some context, the word Gentiles does mean a non-Jew or a non-Israelite. But in other contexts, you have other definitions that goes into something else, right? So what is the definition of Gentile in that in that context? In this context, yeah. it was exactly what I said. Dude. Some, um, outside of could, uh, outside of Jews, anyone you need who is not a Jew would be considered a Gentile in the Bible. Right. Cause we go we pull it up. Here. Yeah, we go pull it up. So that was um, Ephesians three and. Uh, let me ask y'all a question. Uh, right. So like y'all obviously y'all believe in Israel and the true Israelites, right? And y'all believe that God is strictly for Israel. Um, well, so what? How how do y'all get That's get nice. to heaven? Like you believe in heaven, right? Yeah. I and 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 if and if you were to die and God asked you, why should I let you in heaven? What would you say? Hold on, real quick. We go get Just to that. Just something I, you know. Okay. We, hey, we we're, we're more than happy to answer your question, but we go finish this breakdown of Gentiles real quick, right? So when you go into that word Gentile in that context, come on, come it says it. ethnos, right? We gotta go. We're just doing our little daily walk. Okay. All right, now. This is the blue letter, by the way. Right. So when you go into that word in the Greek, it says ethnos. It just says nation. So really, that can be any nation. It says nation, tribe, people group. So it doesn't necessarily it, right. It doesn't necessarily mean uh, 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 foreign people, right? So. Who was the book of Ephesians written to? It's written to the believers in Christ. Well, it's written to the Ephesians. Hold on, Ephesians, it's, it's yeah. written to the people, the of church, course. the church at Ephesus. Right? Yes, of course. So who, what group of people was dwelling in this church at Ephesus that Paul is writing to? Can we get that in the first chapter? Right. So let's find out who was the book of Ephesians written to, because these people that Paul is writing to are known as Gentiles, right? Right, so let's find out what nation that Paul was writing to. Right, it's the book of Ephesians, chapter one, verse one. Uh huh. 
Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, right, by the will of the Most High, uh -huh. to the saints, to the who, to the saints. So Paul is right. Hold on, can I? This, hold on. We go get to that. Let's finish. So Paul is writing to the church at Ephesus, and he's writing to the church that are the saints. So this church at Ephesus are known as the saints, right? You want to finish that off? Uh -huh. It what says. Is we go get to that. You want you want us to prove that first? You want to get that first? Well, you, you got it. You got it right there. So, so, so he asked us, "Who are the saints?" Right? Because clearly Paul is writing. Again? Hold, hold on, we go, we go get one point at a time. We jumping around. We because uh, I'm right. Since you got you believe in Jesus? Of course, I mean, what of you course, course you like, well, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. We wouldn't be I'm out here doing. Hold on. What's your name, by the way? Jeremy. Jeremy, right? Okay. We got Jeremy, right? So Jeremy, we wouldn't be out here doing this work if we didn't believe in Christ. So look, let's let's get this uh, saints. You want to know who the saints are, right? So this is the book of uh, Psalms, chapter fifty, verse five. Uh -huh. It says, "Gather my saints together unto me." So the Lord said, "Gather my saints together unto me." Those that have made a covenant with me Wait. by sacrifice. Wait, who are the saints? Those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. So according to the Bibli uh the biblical record, the saints are the nation of people that made a covenant. With the Most High God by sacrifice. What race of people made a covenant with God by sacrifice? Not, not only the Jewish nation, the whole nation of Israel That's right. made a covenant with the Most High God. You read that in the book of Exodus, right? Yeah. Remember when the, the Lord made a covenant and he spread the blood upon all the nation of Israel and they said, All that thou hast said, we will do. That's the covenant that the Most High God made with the nation of Israel. And let's so further, hold on, hold on, let's further prove that you got that Psalm uh, 148, 14. We're going to further prove that the saints are the Israelites, right? It's the book of Psalms, chapter 148, and verse 14. Uh -huh. He also exalted the horn of his people. Of his people, right? Read. The praise of all his saints. Of all his saints. Now, who are the saints? Even uh -huh. of the children of Israel. Wait, who are the saints? Even of the children I mean, of Israel. Wait, who was Paul writing I mean, to in Jewish, the book of Ephesians? The Jewish children of Israel. The children of Israel, right? So that letter but, that was, hold on, let me finish real quick. I'm going to let you go right after okay. I finish, right? So that letter that Paul was writing to the church at Ephesus, right. when he said, I'm writing to the saints, those saints, according to the Bible, were only known as the children of Israel. Right. Nowhere else in the Bible did the Lord call any other race of people outside of the nation of Israel saints. You're not going to find that, right? So, what was your other question? So, well, let me ask you this. Uh -huh. What? So, y'all are Jewish? Well, we not. What does the word Jewish mean? Well, I mean, are y'all Jewish? Are y'all descendants? Okay, I'm going to ask you your question, but let me ask you this question. What does the word Jewish mean? What does that word mean? I mean... You know, okay. God real, real quick. So, set apart for himself. So, when you Israel. add, hold on, look, look. You asked us, are we Jewish, right? So now, look. If I say you're acting kind of childish, what does that mean? Do that mean you're actually a child? No. So, what does that word childish mean? It just means you're acting like a kid. You're acting yeah. like. So, yeah. you asked us, are we Jewish? What does that word Jewish mean? If childish means you're acting like a child. Jewish means you would be acting like a what? A Jew. Exactly. So, no, we're not Jewish. We are the Jews. Right. Well, me and this brother, we would be Jews because we would come from the southern kingdom, right. the kingdom of Judah. This brother would be an Israelite. He's not a Jew because, hold on, hold on, let me finish the way back. So, we are the Israelites, right? Like I said, me and this brother, we would be Jews because we come from the southern kingdom. This brother would be an Israelite because he comes from the northern kingdom, right? So yes, we are. Gang we, up on me, huh? No, no, no. It ain't even. It ain't even like that. Yeah, but you said the cavalry came in. Yeah, yeah, I'm always here for my brothers. He just says, "Hello." We ain't ganging up on you. You got on the back of your jersey. Oh, oh. Look at that. We in the book of Ephesians, right? Right, in the book of Ephesians. Y'all love people pulling out Paul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Paul yeah, man. We went straight to that. You know what I'm saying? Damn. He said, he said, yeah, I'm, stay out the old test when you want to go to Paul. Oh, okay. Well, so, okay. Man, I'm just, okay. I'm just saying, man. I mean, you know, 
so God's because the Jewish nation they they like to this day they don't believe in Christ, right? Wait, they, they don't believe the Messiah has come. But you talking about because the they because their understanding of what the Messiah was going to be was a conquer, a but, king who was going to set up. You said the Jewish home. nation, so you talking about the people that's in Israel? Over there. Yeah. This, no, we those are not the biblical Israelites. Right. Do you know? Do you know the description of the biblical Israelites? Well, what, what, what do what do the Israelites look like according to the Bible? Why? Right. I mean, you know, it doesn't really say what they look like. That's yeah. right. Okay. Yeah. So this is the book of Acts. You, you familiar with the book of Acts? Yeah. All right, so this is the book of Acts, chapter 13 and verse 1. All right. It says, Now there were in the church that was at Antioch certain prophets and teachers as Barnabas and Simeon mm. that was called Niger or Nigger. Mm. Right. Mm. What does what that is, mean? Yeah, what does that word mean? All right. So, so you're saying because that refers to black. And the teachers in the Bible was known as black. What does that mean? What would they look you see, like? See, everyone who has faith in Christ, whether you're I asked you a simple but, question. But just real quick, right, take it, has faith in Christ is is considered uh um the true Israel. But I am asking you a simple question. According to the Bible, according to that scripture, what would the Jews look like? Look, man. I'm just going to tell you my testimony. Okay, like, okay. I understand where you come from. Okay. But all I know is that Jesus is real. He's true. Of course he is. He saved my life. He, oh, he, he saved me. your life? He, look, he, I was in pornography. Oh. I was in drugs. Oh. And God, when he came into my life, he completely oh. gave me a new nature. Okay. He turned me around. Uh -huh. I no longer have addictions to pornography. Okay. I no longer do drugs. Okay. You know, because Jesus saved me. He turned my life around. And so, and my dad was an alcoholic when I was little, mm -hmm. and he used to be very abusive, and he was an alcoholic, and um, when I was 10 years old, he got saved. Jesus Christ came into he his heart. He got saved? He came into Can his I get heart. Matthew 24 and, then, and verse And then uh, my dad instantly, instantly poured out all his alcohol, okay. right? And started following Christ, started taking us to church. Okay. So, so you know, we can talk about all this, and I get where y'all are coming from, but all I know is that the power of God has changed my life. Okay. The power of God has changed my dad's life. Okay. And so, um, I, I'm not gonna look, man. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not gonna change my viewpoint. We not and my hey, belief look, system. Hey, look, the thing I totally is, agree. I, I, I see where you're coming from. Okay. But, but, but look, we ain't, we ain't trying to force you to change nothing. We just come out here to preach the truth. That's well, said the Lord. Right. Well, that's right. Saying, whether you, whether, hold on, whether you want to hear it for beer, whether you have your own private interpretation, right. no matter what testimony you went through, we are the true service of the Lord that was sent out, sent out here on the streets to preach the say of the Lord. Right. Right. So let me get that real so, quick. So me Cause hold on, because real, real quick. Caucasian hold on, I didn't say nothing about you being Caucasian. <laughs> no, I just want to ask. But I want to touch on the point because you said that you and your dad were saved, right? Yeah. So can we bring this out real quick? The book of Matthew 24, 13. Right like, you got to cut up all the lies in these last days, right? Like I said, we're going to speak thus saith the Lord. Now, but, you can give your own testimony and you can speak your own words and you can have your own feelings and emotions, but we got to keep it 100 with you, right? Right. So, can we let's bring this up? Matthew 24, 13. So, let's see what Christ said out his own mouth. But he that shall endure until the end. So, Christ said out his own mouth, he that shall, shall endure until the end. The are we are we in the end yet? We're we're getting close. Yeah, we are getting close. We in the I mean, end days, but this is signs. not I this mean, is not the end though. I mean, this country has gotten so far away from God. Exactly. We're right? moral, wicked. Exactly. Society. Right? I mean, if God did not spare Sodom and Gomorrah, He's not going to spare America. Okay, I, I agree with that, right? <laughs> but Christ said, "He that shall endure until the end, 
we not in the end yet. We getting close to the I mean, end, but we not in the end. Right? I got saved. I had a dream that a nuclear missile hit New York City. And, and that's good, right? That's I'm just saying, man. Okay, I think cool. something's coming, man. Uh, we know something. That's coming. why we're preaching, right? So you want to because finish that? people need to change. They people need to repent. Right now, I want you to listen up. Uh, uh, I keep forgetting your Jeremy. Jeremy, right? Jeremy. Matthew's twenty four thirteen from the top. But he that shall endure until the end. So he that shall endure until the end, what? The same shall be saved. Shall be what? Shall be saved. Now we already saved. Shall be saved. But I thought he said they was already saved. They shall be saved. So he said he that and shall endure until the end, the same shall be saved. Well, in John, we not in the end yet. But in John, so how can we said, claim that we have been saved yeah. when look? In you can hold on real quick, real quick, real quick. Hold on, let me let me finish this real quick. So you said that Christ gave you the power to stop uh, uh, fornicating and stop uh, watching porn and, and doing drugs or whatever you was into, right? So my thing is, if we haven't endured until the end, that means that you can fall back off tomorrow, right? Because the Lord said in the Book of Proverbs, even a just man falleth seven times, right? Right. So. You can fall tomorrow, right? You can fall tonight, right? So you haven't been saved yet because according to the Bible, you have to endure until the end. That's right. Because you can be righteous today and then you can be right back to your wickedness tomorrow. Let's, right. let's, let's, so we got to bring out the truth in these last days, right? We don't even claim that we saved yet. Right. right. I can be righteous today and the most high God can take my spirit away from me tomorrow. That's right. Oh my God. Well, hold on. Let me ask can you. Can I just say this real quick? Okay, but you, but you didn't even let us finish the precept. Okay, well, so hold I'm on. Sorry, I'm sorry. What happened to King Saul? Wasn't King Saul righteous? Oh, he turned from God. Oh, no. So what yeah. did the Lord do to him? Oh, he was he righteous cursed, at first, right? Yeah, he cursed. Him. Exactly. So you don't think that he could do the same thing to you? Right. Well, look, right here. What scripture is that? And this is yeah, uh, yeah. Ephesians 1, 6. 1, uh, 3 through 6. I thank my God every time I remember you and all my prayers for all of you. I always pray and joy because of your partnership and gospel from the first day until now. Being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it out on the day of completion until the day of Christ Jesus. So if God redeems somebody, by his power, God will keep that person. Because this is the thing. If you're a child of God and you get away from God, God is a loving father. So he will discipline you okay. until he brings you back into but the fold. Who are the children of God according to the Bible? Though? Well, in, in the New Testament, it's those that believe in Christ. That have those been that saved. believe in Christ? Let That's me ask you this. Are you born again? Of course I've been born again. But the thing is, I, I who are the children who are the children of God according to the Bible? You said that everybody, right? Uh, anybody has faith in Christ. Anybody that has faith in Christ? Yeah. Okay. Well now what why would God create uh -huh. every race uh -huh. and and only save one? Oh that's a good that's part. a that's a good that's question. question. So why hey, hold on, that's a good question though. Real good. Why would God create all these different races of people? And only matter of fact matter of fact get that uh Isaiah oh yeah we can bring it. I was gonna get the Isaiah, Isaiah. 40 yeah 40 yeah oh you want to go to second edges right so that's a hey that's a beautiful question though so great go, question go, Jeremy yeah, we're going to answer where y'all believe and where we're going with this uh, we're going to show you right? I wanna, I wanna hey so long King okay? so I think they charging over there now. yeah they you over there in that parking lot we had stopped parking over there a while ago. I think they be charging the park over there. Well, we usually park down this way. I'm just saying, I don't know if that, I don't want them to give you a ticket over there. So you got that second edges? I got Isaiah. All right, so let's bring this out for you real quick, right? Because that was a beautiful question that you asked. We want to answer your question, right? So this is Isaiah 40. I'm going to start at uh, verse 14. Uh -huh. It says, With whom took he counsel, and who instructed him, and taught him in the path of judgment, right. and taught him knowledge, and showed to him the way of understanding? Right. Verse 15. Behold, the nations the are... On the who? The nations. The nations, right, or the Gentiles, right? All the other nations that are not Israelites. What did God say about them? Are as a drop of a bucket. So the Lord said, all the other nations that are not Israelites are like a drop of a bucket, right? Galatians Hold on, listen. 
Can all we finish? Here? You gonna let us finish this room? Okay, yeah, go ahead, man. I mean, <laughs> just, just, just I'm, like, I'm, I'm sorry, little. I'm sorry, man. I'm just, you know, look, I okay, got three I got, people look, on you one. Got, you got like, no, you, you no, actually no. on one, bro. Right, yeah, none of us are saying anything. Yeah, I haven't spoke at all. Yeah, you, no, you're dealing with one brother. Right, right. Right, so let's, let's finish this real quick. All right, verse 15. Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket. Right. And are counted as the small dust of the balance. Right, so the Lord said all the other nations that are not Israelites, they count it like the small dust of a balance, right? So look, if I had a scale and I put a little bit of dust on it, is it going to amount to something? Is it going to weigh up to something? No. Nah, right? So the Lord said all the other nations combined, compared to this one nation, when you put them on the scale, they don't weigh up to nothing. Right? So keep reading. Really? Behold, he taketh up the owls of a very little thing. Right? And Lebanon is not sufficient to burn. Right? Nor the beast thereof sufficient for a burnt offering. Uh huh. Verse 17. All nations. So, all the other nations that are not Israelites, what did God say about them? All nations before him are as nothing. So, the Lord said, All the other nations to him are as nothing, right? Read. So, hold on. <laughs> and they are counted to him less than nothing. Wait, what did God say about all the other nations? And are counted to him less than nothing. So, he didn't just say they was nothing. He said, All the other nations that are not my chosen people are less than nothing so why would god send his only begotten son that had no sin to get on the cross and shed his blood for all these other nations that he said is less than nothing can you make that make sense for me well let me ask you this what is your definition of all what you mean all the it word just all. Said, it just said the nations. Well, but i mean in general what's the word all the nations that are not israelites but so you didn't galatians, answer my question galatians 1 6 1 Six, See, now you're jumping around. Can we stay on one topic? Well, well, all who are united by faith alone to Jesus the Christ are but, the true Israel of God. But we go ask you the all, same thing. We go ask all you the, who have okay, faith. Okay, all right, Christ, cool. All. So I'm gonna ask everyone, you this. I'm all. gonna ask you the same exact thing I asked <laughs> you about the Book of Ephesians. Who were the Book of Galatians written to? The Galatians. Okay. Okay, I agree with that. But who were the Galatians? Because the Galatians just mean you come from the. Paul was always writing to believers. No, he's writing to certain churches. Well, churches of believers. In okay, what is, let in, me ask you a question. When you go into the Greek word for church, what is the what is that Greek word for church? I'm not sure. I don't know. Okay, Greek. when you go into the but New the Testament, body of okay, is church. if I could finish, right? Okay, so. so you go into that word church in the New Testament. That word literally says in the Greek <laughs> synagogue, right? Now, what nation of people dwelt in synagogues? The, the Israelites so when Paul is writing to these synagogues or in the another translation they call them churches who was Paul writing to in these different cities I mean are you gonna say the Jews I'm not going I'm, I'm asking you I mean um, I mean to all believers oh okay well can I get John, in Christ can I get the book of John chapter uh, 18 verse 20 look look man <laughs> I'm, gonna be honest, I'm just going to be honest with you. Okay. Like you, we can have this discussion all night, and you can point out all the scripture that that, that you know agrees with your viewpoint. So, so but you, so you telling me we it's can read all change. the we can it's, read all the words of the Lord. Yeah, it's and not going to change. It's not going to change. So when we read the word, it's not going to change. When we read the words of God, it's not going to change your view. So basically, you saying that you. But see, hold on. So basically, you say you have a. So basically, you saying that you have another understanding that's against the words of God. That's what you saying. No, no. What I'm believing is the word of God. Okay, but you have you can't prove because you saying that we have a. You saying that we have a. All who are united by faith, all. Every race, but who is the every, all though? You're not all, reading the context. You talking see, about us? See, who is the all? All is everyone. No, it's not. Everyone who has faith. Why in would Christ. I? But look, look. You got a certain church that you go to, right? If I sent a letter to your church and said all of y'all can receive salvation if you believe on Christ, then am I talking to everybody on the whole entire planet Earth? <laughs> yes or no? No. As, so, I mean, we got to make it plain upon tables. Right. If Paul is writing letters to specific churches, and he's saying, if all of you believe on Christ, he's not talking to everybody on the planet. Right. right. We got to stop doing that. You, you you accuse us for taking the Bible out of context, but that's exactly what you're doing. So, we go find out. Can we, yeah, let's, let's bring this up. This is the book of St. John's, chapter eight, uh, 18 and verse 20. Uh -huh. It says, Jesus answered him. I speak openly to the world. So you think this world is talking about everybody on the planet. Jesus said, I speak openly into the world. 
Who is this world that Christ is talking about? Who you think he's talking about? Is he talking about everyone? Well, we go find out. I yeah. ever taught in the synagogue. In the synagogues, like I said, when you go into that word church in the New Testament, it literally means synagogue. So let's find out. So what is Hold on, let me finish. Let's find out what is the synagogue. And in the temple. In the temples. Whether the Jews always resort. No, the whole world. Whether the Jews always resort. Everybody on the planet. Whether the Jews always resort. So all these churches or synagogues that Paul was sending letters to are the synagogues whether the Jews always resort. So, so the Jesus book said, of Galatians was written to an Israelite church in Galatia. Right. The book of Ephesians was written to an Israelite church in Ephesus. The book of uh, Thessalonians was written to an Israelite church in Thessalonica. Right. It's playing upon tables. I mean, Romans is, he's talking to Gentiles. Oh my goodness. Ooh. I mean, because okay. Paul was sent to be a who apostle the to the Gentiles. Okay, who are the, the Gentiles in that context is talking about the so, Israelites that lost their heritage. So when Jesus, so when Jesus said, um, for God sent his only begotten son, or when he, you know, that whoever shall believe in him shall not perish. John 3, 16. Whoever shall believe Okay, okay, now let me ask you a question. God loved the what whole is the, world okay, and he sent his only begotten cool. son. So you, so you want us to go to John 3, 16? Because we'll be more than happy to do it. I mean, look, man. All right, let's I, go to John, like, the third I, chapter. I, I, honestly, man, I appreciate what y'all are doing. Can we just go to John, the third chapter for you? I'm, I'm telling I you, I mean, man. Can, can we please? I, I, we, we just want to break this down for you. Can we can we go to John the third chapter? Hey, look, we helping you out because we trying to give you the proper understanding. Right. Little do you know, right? You don't have we, it. Yeah, because we we got to expose the lies in these last days, right? So so we hey look, we don't want you to be, we so, don't want so you to I'm, be deceived in so these I'm lies. So I'm destined to hell. Right? I'm destined to hell because I'm not my. We didn't say that. We never said. Wrong. See, look, you jump. Well, no, but you I'm, jump I'm, trying to, I'm trying to ask y'all. You jump into conclusions. We never said that. Okay. What do you believe about me personally? Well, we go, we go show you. Before God, we go show you what God believes what's gonna happen to you. Okay? So can we break down John? Can we give you the proper understanding of John the third chapter? We just want to give you the right understanding, right? So this is the book of Saint John, chapter three and verse sixteen. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. That whosoever believeth on him uh -huh. should not so perish. So now let me ask you a question, right? In John, the, in John the third chapter, right? So he's just talking about Jews, whosoever. We go break. We go break it down. Whosoever is on your Israel. Can, can we break it down? All right, so let's do it. Yeah. Now this is a, this is Ezra seven and twenty six though. You're saying whosoever, right? Well, listen to this. And whosoever will not do the law of thy God. And the law of the king, let judgment be executed speedily upon him, whether it be unto death, or to banishment, or to confiscation of goods, or to imprisonment. So that whosoever, you can't get hung up on well, that. That's a, but that's the same context, because he's saying whosoever does these sins, right, is going to be judged. Well, who, that so was in the book of Ezra, right? So mm -hmm. Who was Ezra speaking to? So Okay, so he's speaking to the non-Jews, no, right? No, Ezra. Who was Ezra speaking to? To Israel. Exactly. That that's the only people that Ezra taught. You can read that in the book of Ezra and Nehemiah. They only well, was know. teaching the, the Israelites. New, I mean New Testament. I mean the Old Testament, you okay. know. Was but that's all he he, he he just brought that out to basically show you that you can't get no. caught up on that word whosoever. Whosoever not talking about everybody on the planet. Like we keep trying to explain that to you. Now can we we go break John the third chapter? Well then let me just ask you this. Let's get to the cross. Alright, we go get to what, the John. What, what, I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm hearing your word. I mean, you're, you've already explained to me pretty much, a, you know, a bunch of passages that says that the true Israelites are the only ones that are going to get it, right? But um, so what is that? where does that leave me as a, a non-Israelite, even though the Bible says that I'm an Israelite because of my faith? No, uh, the Bible does the not heart, say that. Though. In it, the it, heart. It does not say that. Though. You don't understand what that's talking about. That's talking the Gentiles, like we said, the Gentiles... We're talking about the Israelites that lost their heritage. I would have been talking about his people. Right. Gotcha. Then, right? Because so, you know the, well, so, so, just, so you want to know your judgment. Me. Basically, yeah, you want to know. All right, beautiful. What's happen all right, beautiful. What's your nationality? My nationality? Yeah. I mean, I'm in America. I mean, what's your father? I mean, I have Indian. Caucasian. I have Indian in me. I have. Yeah. I, I no, have, no, what is your father's lineage? 
Uh, he's he's Cajun, so he's French and Indian. Okay, so he's Caucasian. Yeah. Yeah. Right. What scripture you want? Oh, I thought you were gonna pull up a precept. Yeah. No, I was just so wondering. so basically you want to know your judgment, right? <laughs> All right. So let me get um that Isaiah chapter fourteen and verse uh twenty one. Because to tell you the truth, it's only two things that's going to happen to you, right? <laughs> right so this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 14, and verse 21. Uh -huh. And it reads, prepare slaughter. So what does the word slaughter mean? Destroy. Right, to be destroyed, right? So the Lord said, prepare slaughter for who? For his children. For his children. Now, who was this talking about? The Lord said, prepare slaughter for his children. When you read Isaiah the 14th chapter, it's going into the judgments that will happen to the other nations for what they did to the nation of Israel. So the Lord said prepare slaughter for the children of these other nations because of what? For the iniquity of their fathers. For the iniquity of their fathers. So now let me ask you a question. You just admitted that you were a, a so-called Caucasian, right? Now what is the history of the so-called Caucasian man upon the face of the earth? What if I'm Indian? I mean, I, I'm, I but can, you just said that I, you. But I can vote in the tribe of Chickasaw Nation. I mean, I've got. No, I'm saying like what? So, he asked you. The brother asked you, "What is your father's nationality?" Right? You said your father was French, or something, right? French and Indian. Okay, who was his father? French and Indian. So, who was his father? <laughs> I don't know that part. Right? All right, like, so they look, can't, they can't all be French and Indian. Right. Yeah. I mean, so. All right, so look, if you were so-called Caucasian man, right? Let's finish this, right? It says... So it says that they do not rise. So the Lord said, if you are not an Israelite, this is the judgment that's going to happen to the, all the non-Israelites. Right? He said, prepare slaughter for his children. Right? That they do not rise, uh -huh. nor possess the land nor fill the face of the world with cities. Right, so the Lord said prepare slaughter for all these other nations for the iniquity of their fathers. Because what did all these other nations do to his chosen people? All these other nations had God's chosen people in captivity and slavery. Yeah. All these other nations rape, robbed, and murdered God's chosen people. Right? So that's one of the judgments that God is going to place upon the other nations that are not Israelites. Now let's go to verse 1. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 1. Uh -huh. For Yahweh will have mercy on Jacob. So the Most High God is going to have mercy on the nation of Israel. Only the ones that repent and keep the commandments. Even if you were Israelite, if you don't repent and keep the commandments and endure to the end, you're going to be slain by the sword according to uh, Amos 9 and 10, right? Well, so the Lord said, hold on, let me finish this. The Lord said he going to have mercy upon Jacob, right? And will yet choose Israel. Now he going to choose everybody. And will yet choose Israel. So that would be a biblical contradiction for the pro Do you believe in the prophet Isaiah? Because, well, look, hold, hold on, listen. Can we finish this? Yeah. Because you asked us a question. We're trying to answer your question, right? So, how would Isaiah say that the Lord only going to have mercy on Jacob? And then in the New Testament, the Lord said, you know what? The hell with the prophecy I, I, I told Isaiah. Now I'm going to change it up and I'm going to have mercy on everybody. That would be a contradiction, right? So let's finish this. So this is an end time prophecy that we read in the book of Isaiah. It says, and set them in their own land. So the Lord said he's going to set the true Israelites back in their own land, in the land of Jerusalem, right? And the strangers. And the strangers, which are not Israelites. Shall be joined with them. So all the other nations going to be joined with the Israelites in the kingdom of heaven. But let's see why. And they shall cleave. To the house of Israel. So all these other nations are going to cleave to the house of Jacob. And the people shall take them. So we're going to take them and do what? And bring them to their place. Right? In the house of Israel. In the house of Israel, God shall the people. Shall possess them. Shall do what? Shall possess them. Shall possess. What is the word possess? Take over. Take over. The own, right? So the Lord is saying that the house of Israel is going to own all the other nations of people that are not Israelites, right? In the land of Yahweh. All 
Uh-huh. For servants. For what? For servants. For servants. And handmaids. And handmaids. Right? What it, if, if you're my servant and my handmaid, that means you're my what? Exactly, right? And they shall take them captives. And they shall do what? Take them captives. So we have to take all these other nations captives. Why? Whose captives they were. Because at one point in time, all these other nations had us in captivity, right? Do you agree, according to world history, that the so-called white, hold on, that the so-called white man had the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans in slavery? Do you I mean, agree I, with that? I agree with that. Exactly. So the Lord said, in the kingdom of heaven, the same way those people put us in slavery, we have to put them in slavery. That's just, right? Ain't that true justice? Right? Um, sure. Yeah, yeah it, it is, right? That would be an unjust balance for God's chosen people to be cap, uh, captives to all these other nations. But we can't, we can't have them as captives. Can I ask you a question to go back to something you said? Go ahead. You said that those that um, the Israelites that keep the law, right, right, that keep the commandments, uh -huh. will be saved in the end, right? That's what the scripture said. Well, in um, in a, let's go back to Ephesians. Okay, go back to Ephesians that was written to the, the Israelites. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> let's go. Let's go back to the book of Ephesians that we just proved that was written to the well, Israelites. That, but that's okay though, because then, it, but even by your own account, uh, you're 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 contradicting yourself. You're contradicting yourself okay. with your own scripture, because okay. this says, "For it is by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not from yourself, but a gift from God, unless any man should boast. Right. Not by works, unless any man should boast before God. See, if you keep the law yourself, so you tell him boast, to do no works. You can boast before God. So you you telling me you don't have to do faith no works. without works is dead. But let me show wait, you. Wait, wait, hold on, wait a minute, wait. You just catch yourself. But, but hold on, but, wait a but, minute. So but, do I have to have just faith, my, or do I have to have faith and works? So let me show you my faith by my works. Is that so? What are you talking about right now? You confuse you. Now you just contradicted yourself. <laughs> So I only have to have faith, or do I have to have faith and works? I mean, <clears throat> you know. So you telling me I don't have to keep the commandments? I just gotta have faith. Well, you gotta follow Christ. Okay, how do I follow Christ though? By doing what? By doing what He says. Okay, what did He tell us to do? To keep the what? Keep the commandments. As I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Ding, 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 ding. So that's go. all you we finally said. got one right. So that's all we said. We have to keep the commandments that were only given to the nation of Israel. Do you agree with that? The commandments were only given to the Israelites, right? I mean, I, I don't agree with it. But okay, but that's, that's what the Bible says, right? Yeah, I, I don't agree with your interpretation. So you don't agree with the Bible? I don't agree with your interpretation. All right, so look, look, I like I keep don't. saying, like I, I keep don't. saying, look, I'm a, we go read the scripture and we want you to give your interpretation, okay? So can I get look, Psalm man, 78 look, verse look, 5? Look, I'm not as studied in the Word of God right now. No, just listen okay. to me. Like, I'm pretty, I'm fairly new uh -huh. to preaching and all this, right? Okay. Because I feel like, you know, I am trying to be obedient to the Lord, right? Okay. By coming out here and doing this. Hold on, do you know how you be others? obedient to the Lord? Hmm. Do you know how you, Do you know how to be obedient to the Lord? Do what he said. All right, can I get uh, Isaiah chapter 49 verse 23? And can, uh, Hey, what's that, uh, that piece of the Lord said, they that bless you, he go bless them that bless you. Bless them that bless you, yeah. curse them that curse yeah. you. Look, we can get this Isaiah. Isaiah 49 what? Uh, 23. Uh, it's the book of Isaiah chapter 49 and verse 23. So this is how you be obedient to God, right? So if you really want to show your true repentance from this day forward, we going to show you what God said that Let you got to go do. 20. Let me go 22. All right, come on. Uh, this is Isaiah chapter 49 and verse 22. Uh -huh. It says, Thus saith Yahweh thy power, behold, I will lift up my hand to the Gentiles and set up my standard to the people, uh -huh. and they shall bring thy sons in their arms, and thy daughters shall be carried upon their shoulders, and kings shall be thy nursing fathers. So do you understand what that's going into? We said the Gentiles. Now, in this context, the Gentiles is talking about the non-Israelites, right? And queens that thy nursing mothers, uh -huh. they shall oh, bow down to thee. Wait, what does so, he have to so do to show true repentance? Are not, they're, these Gentiles are the other nations. Right. But the Gentiles that Paul's talking about are Israel. Like I said, when you go... So, no, so hold wait, on, how, hold how on. No, look, I'm, I'm going to show you, right? That's a good question. I'm going to show you. Because, mm -hmm. like I said, in different contexts, when you go into the Greek and the Hebrew word for that word Gentiles, it, it gives you different definitions. So in some contexts, you might read, uh, uh, it might say Hela, right? It might say Ethnos, right? It might say Goyim, right? When you go into these different Greek and Hebrew words, 
it might go into different definitions. So in some contexts, that word Gentiles can go into the meaning of another nation. And in some contexts, that word Gentiles can be talking about, uh, talking about Hellenized Israelites that would discontinue from their heritage, right? <laughs> it's go it's going. It mean it means a, it means a beast or an animal or something, man, dog or whatever. Right. So that's talking about the other nations. There's nowhere in the scripture where the Israelites known as, as dogs. Right. That's what we do, man. We prove all things. Man. I mean, I, I, I just, you know, I mean, I'm still, I'm still that's going. Fine. But you, the Lord. But you said you want you said you want to know how to serve the Lord, right? Right. When you serve the Lord, matter of fact, you got that precept. Kind. Yeah, you go bring this out real quick. I'm gonna show you how to serve the Lord, cause look, you being a, a non-Israelite, right? You can't serve the, the Lord directly. Right. Right. So we gonna show you how to serve the Lord, right? Genesis 12 and 3. Uh -huh. And I will bless them. So the Lord said he will bless them that do what? That bless thee. So the Lord said I will bless the nations that bless the Israelites. Mm -hmm. Right? And yeah, curse him. And curse them that do what? That curseth that thee. That curse thee. So the only way that you can serve God is through serving his chosen people. Because you're not God's chosen. So you can't directly serve the Lord. Right. You have to serve the Lord by serving his chosen people. Right. Right? So we're going to show you how to serve God's chosen people according to the scriptures. Right? Verse 23 again. Uh -huh. And kings shall be thy nursing fathers. Right. And their queens thy nursing mothers. Right. They shall bow down to thee. So how do these other nations serve the Israelites? They shall bow down to thee. So the Lord said, if you truly feel sorry for what your people did to his chosen people, if you truly want to show true repentance this day, you have to bow down to the nation of Israel. If you truly want to serve the Lord, right? With their face towards the earth. Uh -huh. And they shall lick up the dust of thy feet. Right? So did you hear what that scripture said, right? Yeah. So we're trying to show you how to serve the Lord. You serve the Lord by serving his chosen people. Right? So by me serving you. Not ser serving any of it. Any of the you, any of the Lord's chosen people. Well what I want to ask you though, uh -huh. is you so you can do you can <laughs> You can you can trace your actual blood to the nation of Israel. Yes, yes I can. You can. Yes I can. You want me to show you according to the Bible how, how I know I'm, I'm Israel? I mean, because of the because where it says Niger. No, no. You <laughs> you want me to show you according to the Bible how I know I'm Israelite? I can show you if you want to. I mean, we can. But hold on, are you going to serve the Israelites though? Are you going to serve the children of Israel? Because you say you want to serve the Lord, right? We just read in the Bible, the only way you serve the Lord is by serving us. So are you going to serve the children of Israel? Well, I'm going to serve Christ. How, the only way you serve Christ is by serving us. You, Christ is not dealing with you directly. Serve Christ. All right, well, you can be stuck in your own ways, right? right. But I'm going to show you how we... I know we, where I'm going. Yeah, we know, yeah, know where you're going, too. Yeah, we know where you're going, too. What did Christ say? Christ said... And that's the powerful by him saying that. That will not serve so you. I know where I'm going. Right, right, right. Right? right? Then, then he said, I said, the nation and kingdom that will not serve you, right. bring them hither. Right? What does that mean? So if Christ is saying that there's a nation of people that is supposed to serve, but they won't serve, they're going to refuse, right? He said, bring them hither, right? And I will slay them, right? I will chop their heads off right before you, right? Well, how do you feel about that? I mean, I, I don't believe your interpretation. It's no it's no private interpretation. I just, I just quoted what I, the Bible I mean, says. Right. And, and where did he say that? Oh, it's in the book of Revelation. We can get oh. it. Revelation. Yeah. yeah. You like Revelation? And, 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 uh, and it's in Luke, yeah. Yeah, which one you want? Look, man. I'm... Which one you want? <laughs> look, look. Hey, where your brothers at, man? <laughs> hey, where there, your brothers at? Sean's coming, man. Oh, they left you solo dolo tonight, right? Yeah. Can we can we show you the DNA I, of the scriptures, I mean, right? Because you said it's blood, right? Look, you said, look, man, you said I, can he trace his lineage? Okay, I I, 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 I believe it. Hey, we, we on the way. We on the way. Yeah, man. We're, 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 we're done, man. We're done. Oh, we uh, done. Oh, all right, man. Look, man. All right, Jeremy. Look, man. Oh, Jeremy said we're done. Look, man. Oh, come on, Jeremy. That's fine, Jeremy. I, I'm, 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 I'm hey, yeah. hey, hey, look, Jeremy. I'm I thought done. the Bible said quench not the spirit, Jeremy. Yeah. Right? Don't the Bible say quench not the spirit? And, and it also says don't uh, cast your scroll, scroll before swine. That oh, so you. we swine then. You, I didn't say no, you were no, swine. No, no, he's saying he's swine. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, he's saying he's swine, so right. we, we, we shouldn't be casting no more pearls before right, right. Jasmine. And okay. hey, we showed him we got to do, he ain't want to do it, so that's on him. So are you going to serve the Israelites, Jeremy? I'm going to serve Christ, man. In, in order to he's serve in God's in, chosen people. In order to serve Christ, right? Are you going to be in the same kingdom with Christ? Yeah. So everybody going to be in the kingdom? How many gates to the kingdom? How does he know he going to be in? He just, right, he just you said, how yeah, powerful is that? How powerful you can see you gonna be in the how many how many gates to the kingdom that you going to? It's just one. It's just one gate, and it's through Christ. And you see that right there? <laughs> and on that, we say shalom. Shalom. Hey, hey. <laughs>